welcome to the knowledge series for Yogakshema. I am joined by Dr. Usha Vastare, the founder of Yogakshema Rehabilitation Wellness Center. Today's session, we will be covering mindful parenting. How do we manage free time for children? Again, the kids are, they are very deliberate. They are very intentional with whatever they are doing. Even a young kid always wants to play and will only cry if he or she does not get that toy or when it's hungry, yeah. right? Yeah. So their intentions are pure. But as they get older, they get into, especially in this day and age, with so many distractions, they are very intentional when they use their mobile phone, right? When they use their apps, social apps. But this starts out as a simple intention, but the contents of that is extremely important. Right from young age, the parents have to be really watchful about this, to be aware of what the kids are doing at their free time. As much as we parents want to give free time for the kids, this is where the present generation, I truly feel, um, is facing a great challenge when we give that free time. And it's truly free. In other words, uh, it is freedom for the senses, mm -hmm. not freedom from the senses. That little difference that we as parents have to know and we have to be creative to give free time with a restriction so that we don't need to regret much later. Two schools of thinking, right? Structured time versus uh, unstructured time, unstructured free time, right? And uh, people have both views on this, you know. Uh, while we were brought up with a lot of unstructured free time, I think today's generation there is a lot more of uh, structured or at least there is an attempt to do structured free time. How do you view this auntie in terms of uh, deliberate? Uh... Samit, much more than just free time and structured time, um, as a scientist I am now concerned about what they do in that free time. Now we know naturally all kids, even young kids, they want to go on to their phone and then use it. Which we feel it's innocuous because what they are watching, some cartoons and whatever at a young age. So we feel it's okay. Sometimes I have seen parents using their mobile as a babysitter for the yeah. kids, you know. Um, not making any valid judgments but taking an example. So what they are doing in their free time is very important. It's Especially we know already how these apps are built, they are so addictive, Absolutely. they just start out as an innocuous thing and this is not just for kids, even for us as adults. And before we know it, it has become a habit. And before we know it, that habit later on turns into addiction, especially if the kid goes through certain challenges in their lives, either not having enough friends or not having the right type of friend, that little innocuous watching cartoons becomes a habit and be turns into addiction understand. so much so. So it's important we understand what is happening in the free time, exactly. that it is not something that is addictive. Eventually. Exactly, exactly. This is the biggest challenge that the parents are facing understand. right now. Yeah. And this we are learning after several years because yeah. none of us know, neither the parents, nor the educators, nor the people who are building these apps or discovering these apps, none of us know. We will only know after a while, after it has uh, happened, after math. But as scientists, as researchers, if you really think about in a non-judgmental way, this is truly a red flag. So one of the false binaries that I keep hearing parents ask about is uh, the choice between uh, very strict disciplined parenting versus easy going parenting or laser sphere parenting so to, so to speak. And I have seen different cultures, I spent some years in Brazil and, and, and I saw that they had a very interesting balance. India when I grew up very very different uh, parenting style with my parents, my mother and father themselves had very different parenting styles. Uh, so I just wanted your uh, 
comments on on this false binary that exists between uh, controlled parenting versus mm -hmm. easy going parenting i used to believe in all these different types of parenting styles and what not the more and more i travel the more and more i see parents of different cultures different ages and with different challenges and issues some of it we cannot even think of i can assure you uh, i feel you know i'd like to take uh, buddha's words take the middle path it has to be combination of both some just like what i was talking about choices some are negotiable some are non negotiable some of the parenting issues have to be controlled has, they have to be disciplined but hopefully Explain. with self disciplined manner and some of it has to be really free and fun and frolicky there has to be combination of both uh, earlier it used to be from one parent would be one type another one would be another type that is one way or else it is not that won't even suffice these days as things are changing in the world each person has to be that to give the best to our kids take the middle path